I think he wants coffee. Hey guys, it's Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming one of my highly requested videos, Iced Keto Coffee. And if you haven't seen my original keto coffee video, go ahead and check it out. I will link it in this video for you. But today I'm going to be filming my most requested video, which is Iced Keto Coffee. This video is sponsored by Opportunities, which means they provided me with a product to do an honest review on their product. Now what they have is unflavored MCT oil powder. I've never tried a powdered MCT oil before, which I thought was pretty cool. I normally use the Pro Mix Nutrition Flavorless. This is the MCT oil that I personally like, um, but I decided to give this powdered version a try. So let's get into the video. I think a voiceover is the best way to demonstrate this. So I start with my MCT oil powder by Opportunities. And if you'll notice, it's non-GMO and soy free. I took a quick look on the back of it and I noticed that one scoop does give you seven grams of medium chain triglycerides, which is pretty good. It is a resealable package, which is really nice. You don't have to worry about it spilling out or having to put it into another container. And it also comes with its own scoop. And one scoop equals 10 grams and there's about 17 servings per container. When I make my iced coffee, I like to combine any of the powder ingredients together and then add my liquids to that and mix it up so that it blends in smoothly. I feel like that gives it a smoother consistency. So I take a level scoop of the MCT powder. I put that in a separate cup and I'm going to add the sweetener of my choice. You can use any sweetener that you like. I usually use erythritol. I'm all out of that. So I'm using this organic stevia. You can add as much or as little, just mix it up together with your whipping cream. And I put about, I don't know, I eyeballed this, so it's about a half a cup to three quarters of a cup. And then my most prized possession is this little handy mixer that I just love. It gets the job done, just stick that in there, give it a good mix around so that everything is combined. And then you're going to set that aside because now you're going to get your cup and the other ingredients to finish up your iced coffee. So now I need to get my glass ready. I'm gonna use this mason jar and I'm filling it all the way up with ice. I'm going to pour in my cold brew coffee that I prepared this morning. I just stuck it in a pitcher afterwards and put it in the fridge to get it nice and cold. And I used regular old uh, Folgers coffee. You can use whatever type you like. There isn't a required brand or type of coffee that you need to use. So I go ahead and take the cold brew Pour it into my cup of ice, and you want to make sure that you leave enough room at the top for your cream concoction. So you're going to fill it up about three quarters of the way. And a step that I skipped here was I normally take like a butter knife or a spoon, and I kind of break the ice up because it tends to kind of freeze together when you pour that cold liquid in there. So now I'm pouring in that cream concoction at the top of the cup. And usually when you break up that ice, you'll see it like melt down to the bottom of the glass and it looks like so cool and fancy. So now I just use this stainless steel straw and I use that to kind of mix the cream mixture down into the iced coffee. Give that a couple swirls and it is ready to enjoy. I hope you like it. And that is how I make my iced keto coffee. Okay, so what do I think of the Opportunities MCT oil powder? It has no flavor. It didn't have a funny taste. It didn't have a funny odor at all. It mixed really nicely. I was kind of worried at first mixing this in with the heavy whipping cream because usually powders, when you mix them in with something that like a cold liquid, they tend to clump up and not mix really well. This mixed really well. I didn't have any clumps or any chunks inside of my iced coffee. Um, one thing that I realized about this powder is that this would be really great for someone on keto who travels a lot and wants to make their bulletproof coffee on the go because the one drawback with the MCT oil liquid that I use is that you can't take that in your carry-on if you're flying. But this you can just throw right in there and be done with it. The great people that made the Opportunities MCT oil did provide me with two packages of this powder. So I want to give one of these to one of you guys so that you can try this out in your coffee. And this would be great in anything. Iced coffee, hot coffee, any kind of coffee, right? Because coffee is great. You don't even have to limit yourself to just putting that in your coffee. You could put it in shakes. You could put it in 
I mean, you can put it in soup. You can put it in pretty much anything. It has no flavor and it is unscented and it mixes great. So give that a try. Um, if you would like to win a full-size package of this MCT oil powder by Opportunities, all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up, comment down below a little coffee emoji, and, and one winner will be picked at random and notified so that I can ship this out to you. Now, unfortunately, this is only open to US because international shipping is quite expensive. And I am just a small little YouTube channel here. So give this video a like, comment below a little coffee emoji, and this bad boy can be yours. Anything that I use, I list it down below. I get pretty much everything on Amazon. I've linked everything down below. So if there's something that you see that you'd like, check out the description box. There's tons of information in there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.